My name is Stephanie Willoughby, and I'm a family photographer here in the great state of New Jersey. Jersey is full of small towns with big personalities, which is why I want to explore what makes your community special. I'm interested in the stories that your community would tell if it had a voice. This is Homegrown. During its creation, Asbury Park was intended to be an entertainment hub, which is why I'm delighted to see the showroom theaters. Today, we're speaking with visionaries and owners about how their independent theater is changing the way Asbury sees films. So I want to talk a little bit about showroom. How long have you guys been open here in Asbury Park? We've been open in this location since 2012. Uh, we started out in a little storefront across the street because when we came here, there were no movie theaters. We couldn't understand how a town that was so arts and culture centric had no cinema. I think that that's so neat. One of the things that I've kind of been researching about Asbury is just how it was an entertainment capital, how when it was built, it was meant to entertain the masses with music and casinos and bringing people out of the city here. And to an extent, it still does that, but only with people like yourselves who think like, hey, there's not a theater here. Films are always a, a big deal and a big hit. Um, so how have you guys found Asbury as a community? Has it been welcoming to open the theater here? Has it been difficult? Like, how's it, how has it gone? We were fortunate when we started in 2009. The city was open to new ideas. Uh, we were in the downtown or the central business district, which had a theaters as one of the um, approved places to be. So we kind of were uh, entreed in very nicely. And uh, the town had been very good to us. I mean, people did come out, and there was now something to do other than eating and drinking in the downtown area, which we had always thought there should be. It's good to be part of the community. You have a vested interest in, in making things work. And all the other business owners in town are very uh, participatory. Everybody works very hard. They're, they partner with each other to make things a success. So it's been a real close-knit community. One of the things that we tried to do was really make the cinema part of the community, a member of the community, because not only do we show films and first-run indies, but we have meetings here for the community. We do all sorts of things that make this more or less a, a community hub for people to uh, participate in and engage. And that's been our, our goal from day one. I noticed in your lobby, which I love your lobby, it's the cutest, I love the chalkboard wall, I love like the way the concessions are laid out, but it also looks like you're supporting other businesses in town too, right? You have different options for moviegoers that are coming here. One of our, our plans was to offer concessions that were made in town so people can still get Criterion chocolate, which they remember from the boardwalk. They can find nut bars from Busker Du or vegan cookies from Twisted Tree down the street. We even have partnerships with like Mogo where you can see dinner and a movie. So it's important to us to, to try to work with other people in the community to make it more of a joint effort. That's pretty awesome. I want to talk a little bit about the shows that you do uh, show here, because we're not always, and in some cases, you're talking about some of the bigger box office hits. But in a lot of cases, you're talking about films that people read about, maybe like in the Times or, you know, NPR. right, on NPR, but don't have necessarily a home to see them. You provide that home for some of those films. What's that been like for you guys? How do you go about choosing what you're going to show here at Showroom? A lot of times we focus on um, directors or uh, uh, actors who are in the movie or just the genre itself. I mean, a lot of times it goes back to the engagement with our audience. Um, I can't tell you the amount of recommendations and referrals and, and requests that we get from guests who come in. Not only do we have our eyes on um, the curatorial button, so to speak, but our guests do as well. We found, you know, little niches of times and places. We have a horror series that we show on Sunday mornings and it's called Horror Church. Instead of going to church, you can come <laughs> here and watch an, a classic horror movie oh, yeah. and we have an audience for that. Awesome. So um, it's a little bit of everything and, and you have to kind of go with the flow and, and it changes, it evolves. So we're, we're very pleased to have it challenge us as well. So it's not the same thing all the time. 
Well, you can't really beat that. That's no, kind of the no. best way <laughs> to do a business. No. <laughs> I would imagine some of that has to do with how intimate this theater is. I mean, this is probably like the medium size in this particular space. Um, but you guys also have another showroom, is that correct? Well, we have, there's three theaters in this location that has uh, 67 seats and 15 non-fixed seats upstairs. We call it the loft. And then we just opened up the uh, showroom cinema Bradley Beach that has 340 seats in it. So they're different sizes to fit all different movies. Well, I just want to ask you before we go, if you guys could help me in describing um, Asbury Park to people who haven't been here before, um, any words or phrases come to mind? I'd say eclectic, uh, trendy, and very inclusive. Uh, you get a very rich mix and diverse group of people that come here. And while people tend to focus on the music aspect, which it's had since its very beginning, I think it's totally broadened out uh, culturally into film and art and photography. It truly has something for everyone, and that diversity is its hallmark. Very cool. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me a little bit today Thanks and leaving me here in your cool theater. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Please come back, see a movie or two. I will. Keeping with the heart and culture of Asbury Park, Showroom Theaters supports independent films and the artists behind them. Every Jersey girl has her favorite shore point and I am lucky enough to call Asbury Park mine. Beautiful and colorful and artistic and musical, you can't beat the arts, the food, and the people of Asbury Park. Visit us on Tap Into TV or on Instagram at HomegrownNJ. I'd love to hear about your small town and where you think we should go next. Until next time, I'm Stephanie Willoughby and this is Homegrown.